one of the most dangerous forms of pollution is radioactive waste. Extremely small traces of radium or similar materials can mean big problems for public health and for the people working on the site. That's where a safety officer comes in. My name is Nathan Smith. I'm the uh, radiation safety officer for this site. Currently, the way this project is working, it's a Navy facility, and my company has a contract with the Navy to, to actually perform the, the environmental cleanup. We're just verifying that there hasn't been any uh, leakage from the pipes that's come all the way to the surface. So as they pull back the concrete, we're doing a quick uh, screen of the soil underneath to verify that the concrete's not uh, contaminated before we remove it from the area. A naval air station, the day glow paint on the airplane instrument dials was made from radioactive radium. As a result, 60 years after the fact, the Navy must go to extraordinary lengths to clean and remove these radioactive traces and protect its workers while doing so. The use of uh, RAM-226 in these applications is, is no longer being done, but there's still sites where the uh, applications were, were done, such as here where they actually painted the devices. And um, because of that, we have to go back and uh, clean up anything that could have uh, gone down into the sewer lines or storm drain lines. I review all the data that comes from the field and uh, generally am responsible for the safety from a radiological standpoint of all the workers that would work on a remediation project like this. A safety officer's most important responsibility is to keep workers safe from contamination and to keep contamination in the hot zone. Well, one of the typical ways that we screen for uh, radiation contamination is uh, by doing a quick survey of any items or individuals that go inside an area that we've deemed as having the potential for having radioactive materials within the area. So typically, whenever an individual would go inside a posted area, before they would be allowed to leave the area, they would have to at least have a cursory screen of their feet and hands done before they leave. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of work uh, in this field. It expands throughout the country. There's on basically almost every installation where you've had a Navy or the Army involved, there's usually work with radiation that have to be cleaned up. But there's also quite a few facilities that the DOE have used also in their research facilities, such as uh, universities, that need to do cleanup operations as well. In all these hazardous cleanup areas, safety and the people who enforce it will be in great demand. Thank you.